Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Eat the Dog and Moss. I'm Chad. I'm Justin. And this week we're trying out Japanese chewing gum. Indeed. Hmm. Well, man, all I these think, choices uh, that yeah. we have today. We uh, actually picked uh, four <laughs> things instead of our normal three because this will go quick. And we didn't pick any really strange or like the ones that are packaged weirdly because um, that was at a different store and we were too lazy to go there. Yeah, that was mostly, I think, just kids' regular yeah. gum, just in packaging for kids. <laughs> so there's some super sweet gum in square packages and stuff that come in long um, columns all attached together. And, yeah, we didn't buy that. What we did do is buy all of these gums that we have no idea what they are. We don't know the flavor. Right. <laughs> first one. And some interesting brands. So the first one is Zylish. Zylish. And it says the flavor is Relax Mint. Which, I mean, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> yeah, so a little smell. I don't smell anything for the package yet. Oh, look at this. It's got a nice little tray with the gum inside. Very fancy, fancy, fancy gum. One for you. I will. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah, I, don't, I still don't smell much. Yeah, still don't smell anything. So if this no. is relaxed mint, it's really relaxed mint. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so but it says it's mint, but it's all pink. Yeah, it's like a weird pink color. That's why we picked it kind of. It says mint on it, but it's all pink. It could be grapefruit or strawberry. We don't know. And the gum. So, it's just a hard candy shell on the outside. So, it, so, yeah. Right? So, I mean, do we say eat the dog and with gum? Uh, I don't know what the protocol is for gum. We're not really eating it, are we? No. We're going to chew gum. Chew gum. Chew gum. It's, wow. Okay. Nothing relaxed about that. No. That is um like a hmm. minty uh, grapefruit flavor, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a mint, but it's not like your traditional mint. Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost I there's like a about. cool feeling to it, like mint, but it's not mint flavor. Yeah, definitely some grapefruit in there. Mm -hmm. So Which is fruity. Good, because I love grapefruit juice. It's pretty good gum. It's yeah. not like uh, in the states you it's got an interesting one fruit flavored gum, but it's normally like just sweet and it just slams you with sugar sweet, you know, kids taste. Mm -hmm. This does have some kind of weird cooling effect that feels like it's mint, even though it doesn't taste like mint, and and, and it tastes like grapefruit. So yeah, I wouldn't say this is like an after dinner gum. You Probably know, not. Give you a mm -hmm. fresh taste. No, this I wouldn't say after dinner. Yeah, this is more of a. You know, I'm just in the mood for some tasty gum and. It's really, it's pretty mild. I guess that's where the relax comes in. Like some Japanese gums are hyper intense, like super, super, like those yeah. mints where you pop it in your mouth and the whole time you're like, God, this is too strong. Yeah, some gums are like water that. And yeah. everything. This one is very mild compared to that, so. Yeah, relax mint. <laughs> pretty good. Really, um, I've never had a grapefruit flavored gum before. So yeah, it's definitely interesting. Pretty unique. Yeah, so I like it. I'd definitely give it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And I would recommend it, uh, mostly because I love grapefruit juice. So having yeah. gum that has some grapefruit taste to it works for me. And it's not really bitter, so if you're worried about that with the grapefruit thing, it's not bitter. Um, because I like grapefruit, but sometimes it can be bitter for me. So I like it. I would recommend it. Um, pretty unique. I don't know what to say about it except that. I would chew it, and then we're not going to sit here and chew it for an hour to tell you if it's good later. <laughs> but let's assume it's normal gum and it lasts 15 minutes. Yeah, I would say it lasts out, you know. It's, <laughs> it, the flavor, in a couple minutes we've been chewing it and talking to you, the flavor's not gone yet, and it's not starting to taste like crap or anything, so pretty good. Yep, yep. it's a goodie. Thumbs up. Alright, chewing gum number two is uh, ume. So we know ume. ume. We are becoming familiar, fond friends with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the sour plum business is not a favorite of mine. Really? I love sour oh, plum. Oh, man. I think it's so cool. Oh, it's strong. Wow. Yeah, the smell of this is absolutely that strong. That is a strong smell. Woo. So another fruity gum. Oh, uh, man. It reminds me of the sour plum, uh, that liquor. That alcohol that we tried? Yeah. Ah, what's yeah. the name of that? Oh, man. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> no help from Justin. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So oh, it smells. Man. This is a stick type of gum. It has a strong, strong sour plum smell to it. Um, and yeah, let's let's chew gum. So it's like Wrigley's. Mm -hmm. Chew gum. Wow. So 
super sour. Yeah, that's a, it takes a second. It's not like Warhead, but it's sour. A lot of flavor in this. <laughs> there is a lot of flavor in this, yes. I like it. Um, and it's soured enough, it kind of makes my cheeks feel funny. Mm -hmm. Like it almost makes your eyes water. So, <laughs> wow, I didn't think it was going to be this strong for a very long time. A lot yeah, of flavor. I, say, I don't know about this one. <laughs> if you are a fan of sour plums, mm -hmm. I bet this would be delicious. I like it. And I am a fan <laughs> of sour plums. Point. <laughs> But if you're not a fan of sour plums, this isn't going to change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is that flavor, no doubt. Very sour. Gets that juice of salivating going, running in your mouth. Uh, definitely a unique flavor. I can't imagine getting this in the States. Be like, oh, look, sour plum. I'm just and interested in how long you got to chew this before it stops being intense because it's still going. Very interesting. I can't say that I'd give this one a thumbs up. Are you a man or are you a thumbs down? It's not a thumbs down, but it's like a I don't want to chew this anymore, but <laughs> So now we should do bad. the contest where we put all of them in our mouth at the same time. <laughs> I would say I do recommend it. It's a very unique flavor. Mm -hmm. If you want to try something, mm -hmm. okay, it's, it's taming down now. So now it's however long that took, it's how long it was very sour. Um, it still tastes good. It's definitely retaining the flavor. Though. Yeah. And I think I like it. Uh, I don't think, again, I wouldn't chew this after dinner. Mm -hmm. This isn't something yeah. to like cleanse your palate and make you feel fresh and clean. This is like to keep you awake at the DMV or something because it's like a no holds <laughs> barred gum. Like the commercials where you bite into a piece of gum and you're riding the surfboard and stuff. Like that's this gum. <laughs> What's that stupid gum where it's got like the different experiences or whatever and there's like the guy falling down and he's bouncing on the balls i don't know that one but that's what this sounds like to me <laughs> it's got that flavor so for me it's a thumbs up for shad it's a uh, i don't really know much uh, let's move on to number three indeed all right so for our third choice we've got fitz Fitch. and it's got like a dragon ball dude on there I do not know his name. Sorry, Dragon Ball people. But apparently he endorses this product. <clears throat> yes, he does. So it's called Fitz. It comes in a blue package. And that's about all oh, we know. Oh, wow. With Ooh. orange insides. We don't see a flavor on here. Again. Yeah, no flavor on here. Just a pretty sparkly blue box. <sighs> Smell. It smells like an energy drink. Wow, yeah, it does. It really does. It smells like... Um, a monster, or I mean, in Japan, huh. a monster is what I would compare it to in the States, but in Japan, well, the vitamin C type of drink that we had yeah, before, yeah, very yeah. similar smell. So I pulled a thing out and it automatically like rips the top like off. Like half of the paper comes off for you so that you can. Yeah, so you don't have to like unwrap cool. it with your fingers. So it's That's it's soft. So it's a mixture of the two gums we just did probably because it's like it's small and this shape, but it doesn't have a candy coating around it. Right. And it's soft like the one we just did, like a Wrigley's. And it smells. <laughs> it smells like uh, energy drink. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. Okay. Yeah, this one's a weird one. Let's chew gum. Let's chew gum! Is there like chunks of stuff in this? Mm hmm. Just like I'm chewing sand. Oh, there's something crunching inside. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like a burst of flavor. From it me. tastes like an energy drink to me. It does. It tastes just like, uh, like the the vitamin drink, mm -hmm. vitamin C energy mm -hmm. thing here. So, um, know, that's a weird one. I can't say I appreciate having chunks of stuff in my gum, hmm. especially crunching. Yeah, I don't have the teeth to deal with that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this is. Uh, Wow, interesting flavor. I don't think I would chew this gum again. Because energy <laughs> drinks don't taste great anyways. You know? They're just supposed to be like, bam! You know? I guess if you wanted to, like, if you, here you go, if you wanted to do shots of vodka at the bar, put this in your mouth, boom, you're drinking Red Bull vodka. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So now it's a, it's a bar trick now. Bar um, trick gum. I'm going to say very unique flavor. Didn't mm -hmm. expect it at all. Would not chew this after dinner, would not chew this normally. This is at not all. an after dinner gum. I don't hate it, it's not disgusting, but I 
do not enjoy it. And it's not a flavor that I would want lingering for 15-20 minutes. Mm -hmm. No. So I can't say that I'd recommend it. I'm actually going to give this a thumbs down. I don't hate it. It's not gross. Wow, that, but, but that I, is something special here, a thumbs down. I would say don't um, waste your money on this. It's not good. Not if, really. if somebody offers you a piece, go ahead and try it. Sure. But if you see the package in the store, move, move along. Leave it alone. <laughs> Dragon Ball, I do not agree yeah, with you. Sorry, Fitz Dragon Ball. <laughs> this is not the gum for us. Okay, item number four. Doing one extra today just because it's gum. It goes quick. Um, Indeed. This one, as far as I'm concerned, is famous in Japan. Black Black. Yeah. This is everywhere. Yeah, I um, have not tried it before because uh, I kind of stick to the gums that I like and uh, I've never tried this before. Well, there's different kinds. This one smells very minty. It actually cool smells pretty normal. Too. Yeah. But when I was a kid, we had a lady on our street who had all these weird Japanese things, and one of the things she had was black black gum, but that one was like oh, really? really hyper intense, yeah, really strong for a long time. And that was before that really strong type of mint stuff was popular, you know, because this was like 25 years ago, I'm showing my age here, but ours are different. Yeah, the wrapper looks different. Yeah, different wrappers. But it smells very minty, and... So black yeah. black is something that is available in the States? I think she got it shipped to her from somebody in Japan, yeah. or maybe she had visited. She kind of was like a world traveler. She also had pet iguanas, if that helps. Oh, okay. Two of them. So, <laughs> all right, so that's what we're talking about. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> not, not a normal person. Yeah, so, yeah, because I've never seen black black before. So the gum itself is black. Oh, yeah, wow. It's covered yeah. in white powder, and it's like a wriggly stick. It's a soft one. It smells very minty. It smells strong. I think this one is. <laughs> I don't know if this powerful. is going to be as strong as the one I remember, but when I was a kid, I remember these being incredibly strong. So interesting. Let's chew gum. Let's chew gum. Hmm. That is strong. <laughs> it's a strong. Let's chew strong gum. Mm. Mint flavor, but you know, there's different kinds of mint. It's not peppermint. It's not wintergreen. I don't know. It's mint mint. It's like this ultra black mint. black mint. Black black mint. Yeah. Now this is an after dinner gum. Yeah. This will clean your sinuses and your tongue. Cleanse the palate. Mm -hmm. And I think this would even get rid of uh, garlic. Garlic flavor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As much as you can. <laughs> now this one is a cleanser. So really strong. Yeah, it's like a chewable version of one of those little, um, I don't, why can I not think of the name, Mentos or something? They're super strong they are. mints. It's They're increasing in strength. Yeah, it doesn't get weaker. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty cool, pretty fun gum. Yeah, clear in your uh, nose. I feel the coolness all up in your sinuses. Mm. Very fun. I like it. Yeah, so I would recommend this. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> it's not something that I would want. Be like, oh, I'm just gonna choose some gum. Mm -mm. This probably would not be the selection. Not at all. But after a night out of, like you said, Yakiniku, man, when we go to Yakiniku, we get like the stinky stuff. We get the garlic butter meat. Super garlic. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome. And then as soon as you step out, you're like, wow, <laughs> I just ate a lot of stinky food. And this would be perfect for that. And for you single people, you should keep some of this <laughs> with you, you know, so after your, after your meal on your date, you can you know, pull this out and then you guys can make out later on or something. But it would help. Yeah, because this is some powerful stuff. So, I recommend? Yep, definitely recommend. Thumbs up. Delicious. It's a good one. Black, black. <laughs> Alright, so thanks for watching another episode of Eat, Stock, and Moss, where we try some Japanese gum. And it was awesome. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, stay tuned for next week when we're going to try some uh, Japanese ice cream. Oh yes! <laughs> I think a whole episode. This is just an excuse to eat like three different kinds of ice cream in in one hour, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Because you don't usually give your self <laughs> permission to eat ice cream very much. So, super ice cream episode. Go.